I was simply saying that this is not a mere matter of speculation, that there's more than a tiny bit of evidence on but, the but table. Is, but is he saying evidence that... Evidence for what? Evidence for a beginning of the universe. Yes, well, we know that. Nobody disagrees. All right, well, that's what I'm offering in this first argument, is that, the evidence. But, so, but because why? it's the beginning no doesn't imply a God. <laughs> It does if the first premise is true, that whatever begins to exist has a cause. It logically follows yeah, that but therefore... Yeah, but, but the cause hasn't got to be God. Well, remember I gave a, a, an argument for thinking that this cause is timeless, yes, spaceless, immaterial, uh, enormously powerful, and personal. I think it's a computer. Well, that wouldn't... Uh, computers are designed by people. I no, mean, no, this is a self-designing computer. Uh -huh. Timeless. Timeless. Well, that's a contradiction in terms. Why is it timeless? What's contradictory about it? A, a computer has to function, it takes Oh, no, time. this is a special computer. <laughs> yeah, but it has to be logically coherent. Oh, it's logically coherent? Yes, you have to be logically coherent. Oh, no, coherent. this and, computer and besides, is amazing. No, it, it, besides, it, it would have to be, as I said, a personal being. No. And a computer is a physical... Not this computer. Object. Oh, well, then, no. Okay, see, what you're doing is you're actually... What you're calling a computer is really... God, a, a, a non-physical, non... It's just, it's just another word if you rob it of all the attributes that make it a computer.